So, and, and this example, ladies and gentlemen, what we're looking for is the fifth root of 64y to the 10th, all right? Now, again, you might be saying, well, what number multiplied by itself five times is going to give me 64? Probably the easiest thing to do for this is just, again, to create a factor tree. 8 times 8, 4 times 2, 2 times 4, 2 times 2, 2 times 2. So therefore, I'm going to want to write down the prime factorization of 64, which is going to be 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Times two. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then y to the 10th, again, I can write y multiplied by itself 10 times, but I prefer to take it as y squared. How many times am I going to have to multiply y squared by itself to give you y to the 10th? Five times. It's much quicker. So now. Um, what we do is, since I have wrote the prime factorization of this, since we're taking the fifth root, how many of the y's do I need to take the fifth root of them? Five. Five. So I go ahead and group five. Then, so the fifth root of five twos multiplied by each other is just two. Then I can, oops, I'm sorry, what am I doing? Come on, guys. I need to take y to the fifth power, right? So I need to do y to the fifth times y to the fifth, right? Not y squared. I can't take the fifth root of y squared. I can only take the fifth root of y, y to the fifth. Deja, you should be paying attention to this. Wait, 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 wait. What's y to the fifth times y to the fifth? So what I did is I wrote it as y to the fifth, though, because I can take the fifth root of y to the fifth, right? If this was a different number, I couldn't take the fifth root of it. So the fifth root of y to the fifth is y. The fifth root of y to the fifth is y. So now I've taken the fifth root of everything except for this number 2 in here. So therefore, I need to keep a fifth root and leave 2. So my final answer is 2y squared times the fifth root of 2. And you didn't write it down.